We're living in a time when everything's going to hell in a handbasket. So all we have is the power of Christ that dwelleth and operates in us. And I'll tell you, the gift of tongues uh, takes us to a new level, a new power. And uh, so many will be so scared about this uh, topic, they'll be hiding behind the church theology and doctrine, but they never have thought about the pure love of what this gift really represents. And so God said, I wanted to give you a language that would surpass anything a devil could hear. And I could hear you. And, and I know that you would think you know what to pray. But guess what? You don't know what to pray. So I give you this language now so you can pray straight to me without uh, letting your mind and the intellectualism in your mind try to take over. I know it sounds crazy to a lot of people. That's why Pentecost is not very popular because we live in a world where everybody has to be so educated and has to know exactly what to say. They have to know a sound doctrine. I'll tell you the doctrine that I speak in tongues is a lot better than the doctrine that I speak in English because what I know not to speak in my own language, God makes intercession in the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost was a spiritual language. And that took place on Pentecost. And later it took place first to the Gentiles in Caesarea when the first Gentile was saved. So anybody that's not Jewish, uh, just remember your roots come from tongues. Your roots come from when Peter spoke to Cornelius in Caesarea and the first Gentiles to receive the Holy Ghost spoke in tongues. So I, I know it sounds crazy and a lot of people won't talk about it. And a lot of people are scared to talk about it. And a lot of churches are against it because we don't want the church to get too crazy and get too holy roly on us. <laughs> but God is so for tongues and it's so for today. And I just thank the Lord for giving me that gift. It helped me to uh, get rid of all addiction. And it helped me to get rid of all that poison and toxins that were trying to harm my body, kill me. So I don't care what people say. They, they can look at me as a breathing example of what the gift did and what the fruit bore off of that gift. <laughs> so I praise the Lord for it every day. I go crazy in tongues sometimes, mostly on my own because it's not something I just want to scare every, everybody with. If I did it at the grocery store, you know, people would look at me crazy. Every now and then you get a moment though where you pray for someone, it might come out a little bit. But it is a true, genuine gift, uh, an amazing miracle that God has created. To I deny myself to the power of God. I deny myself to the power of God. I'm talking to someone out there that might may think this gift is a little, uh, you know, they might go to some Calvary or something out there. I don't know where they go. But at the same time, there's a lot of doctrines that teach that this is not for today. But it's so for today. I've seen miracles happen. I went to a I went to a little animal hospital one time in a dark had cancer so I stood in there with the dog and I started to pray with the dog and, and and I started to speak in tongues and the lady looked at me crazy she says man the dog's gonna bite you or something but anyway um, the lady said that the dog had cancer and the cancer was spreading through the body and they already had to amputate the arm but it was uh, spreading all throughout the body and that you know there's nothing they can do and I'll tell you the miracle of Christ happened that day and it wasn't for me and it wasn't even for the dog it was for the lady that saw the miracle happen she probably wasn't even Christian like this guy looks crazy <laughs> let the power of uh, Christ come compel you but I'll tell you it's a real spiritual gift it is for today don't let that church give you that order blah, 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 the order stuff they're also scared to even be a part of the miracle sometimes but God says I'm a part of your life sometimes the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead dwells in you and gives life to your mortal body and in the Bible when the spirit speaks through us and makes intercession through us and we're building ourselves up in the most holy face it talks about praying in the Holy Spirit and praying in the Holy Spirit is is speaking in tongues is, is, is the manifestation of praying in the Holy Spirit so I urge you today to seek that gift because it's Jesus says knock 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 and the door will be open every spiritual gift will be open to you any battle that you're facing anything that's coming along your way that you're facing when you get into the Spirit of Christ and you allow the Spirit to make intercessions and, and seeking in the spirit and the gifting of tongues, it's revelation that comes upon you, miracles that come your way, amazing gifting of love and compassion and mercy and most amazing gift that God has come down for because all the gifts flow through that gift too. So I mean, there are gifts of course without that gift, but that gift 
is about all the other gifts. The, the understanding of love is stronger. The understanding of compassion becomes stronger. The understanding of mercy and graces becomes stronger. The understanding of spiritual gifting becomes stronger. All the other gifts become more evident when you get into the praying of the Holy Ghost. You will not hear this in too many places because they're so scared to get a sound doctrine on this, to really just express the love of Christ through this gift. So I just urge you as somebody, and I know this sounds crazy. If someone says, I'll pop into this uh, YouTube as, as the first time in any Christian thing they'll pop into. Wow, this guy sounds crazy. <laughs> they'll sound like a barbarian. Well, that's what the Bible says they'll say I sound like. But I praise the Lord for that gift. It really helped me. It got me through all of the addictions of all the drugs that were out there. It got me through the alcohol addiction. It got me through cigarettes. That's a hard one. If you're smoking, you start to pray out in tongues, you can fight that addiction better than any Nicorette gum. <laughs> so it is a real gift, and it, it really is something for you today. It's not just for back then in Acts. That's stupid. Whoever would think that. It, it is for today. It is for now. It is, act, it is an activation of spiritual birth, and it, it is manifestation for today and now it is the uttermost parts of the world that we're in today and now it is for today it is a gift for now and today and i thank the lord for that and i cancel actually i block and i cancel and i rebuke and i bind any other doctrine that teaches against that that is a false doctrine that teaches against the gifts of tongues for today if you're to this point of this message and you haven't got fed up with this i, I ask you now to remove yourself from any doctrine that that teaches that this gift is for is no no longer for today i cancel those doctrines today i break them and bind them in the name of jesus for it is a strong spiritual gift that redeems and delivers and thank you jesus for your saving grace and for your acceptance and for your allowing this gift to manifest even way beyond your time lord and through the power of the holy ghost today in jesus name amen